We're back here at the Success Women's Conference 2017 at the IP Casino Resort Spa, and I have the privilege and the honor of sitting down and talking with this morning's keynote, which I have to side note, just blew up the house. It was standing room only. People were wiping their eyes. I saw the faces of people just breaking through, but I'm here with the award-winning international speaker, Cheryl Wood. Thank you for having me. That makes me teary-eyed to, to hear that because that, for me, that's confirmation that I'm walking in my divine assignment and in my purpose. And that's, I think, what life should be about. It should Absolutely. be about discovering what you feel like you're born to do and what your gift is to the world and sharing that in such a way that it absolutely impacts people's lives and creates some level of transformation. So you just gave me goosebumps just, just articulating that because when yeah. you're in the moment and you're doing it and you're yeah. on stage, you know, you're not paying that close attention. So to hear you say that, it's like that gave me goosebumps. But it's so true. I There was literally a moment and I will say what that moment was. Um, Cheryl was talking and bringing back up her father passing away and there was a lot of space in between and silence that was happening in the sharing of that moment. But the faces of the people that I saw, mm -hmm. you really connected and hit a core with them. And, and, and even myself recognizing that while we're here, like you said, life is for the living. Yes. And I think that just resonated really deeply with everyone in the mm -hmm. audience. Yeah, sometimes we assume that tomorrow is coming. We assume that I'm going to get a chance tomorrow or next week or mm -hmm. next month yeah. to carry out whatever purpose is or to figure it out. And my purpose in telling that story is simply to remind people that your tomorrow isn't promised, truly. And we hear it all the time and it sounds cliche-ish, but when you experience it real life, like I did losing a parent, yeah. um, it becomes ultimately so real to you and you wake up every day with intention that you're going to live a life of purpose every single day. Not, oh, I'm waiting for something yeah. specific to happen and then right. I'm gonna live a life of purpose. No, I'm gonna do it every time that I open my eyes and I take a deep breath and have life in my body. Yeah. And speaking about every day and every moment and intentions, you really, I, I am a b big believer of positive affirmations mm -hmm. and what you speak becoming your reality. And I, and it gave me like this praise in my soul. I was like, yes, she's speaking my language because you talk about every morning waking up and talking to yourself, yes. even though you're not going to the job. <laughs> That matches that talk exactly. at the present moment. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about the importance of our words and what we say to ourselves. Yeah, I mean, words really do have power. I mean, that's why people are able to be moved when they mm. hear a speaker share a story. Words have power. And so you have to take that and you have to apply it to yourself mm -hmm. and apply it internally and realize that whatever you are fueling is going to yeah. be the thing that expands. So if you're fueling the negative self-talk and negative self-beliefs and fears and doubts about what you're capable of, that's what's going to expand. Mm -hmm. But if you laser focus and hone in on positivity, even when your current reality doesn't <laughs> match right. what you're saying, you know, that's how the mind works. The yeah. mind ultimately will believe what you keep telling it. So back in 2009, when I was still going to my corporate job as a legal secretary, even though I knew I wanted different, mm. I would wake up and I would say these affirmations about the fact that the world was waiting on me and there was mm. greatness waiting on me and I was, you know, a, a, a destined for abundance and yeah. prosperity. And then I would burst out laughing because I had to go to my job. So what I was speaking wasn't yet manifested. Right. And that can be the challenge because people expect to speak mm -hmm. it and it manifests immediately. Right. And it just doesn't happen that way. But I do believe the more you speak it, the more you believe it. And then your actions will align with the belief. Yes, I love that. Your actions will align with your beliefs. And so we're doing it whether we know it or not, That's right? That's right. So the question is, are you feeding into the positivity? Or are you feeding into the negativity? Or are you even aware yeah. that you're doing it at all? Absolutely. But speaking about manifesting, I, I will tell you my moment where I got goosebumps because I'm currently on a journey as most of us are on a journey and we're visualizing our life. And sometimes literally putting up vision boards, literally mm -hmm. seeing in our mind's eye what it is that we want to do. But when that picture flashed up on that screen of you and your family out of the yeah. country, yes. I almost in your shoes could have just imagined what that felt like to yeah. have been speaking it and seeing it every day. But yeah. here it is 
realize. Yeah, and that it, it took a lot to get to that place, which is why I made this statement several times during the presentation today that, you know, God, I belong here. Mm -hmm. And that all of us want to get to that space in our lives where we, we're able to look at what we've manifested and say, mm -hmm. God, I belong here. Because we've planted so yeah. many seeds that we know we're worthy of where we are in that mm -hmm. moment. And so I sacrificed to get to that moment. My family sacrificed mm -hmm. to get to that moment. We were talking a little bit behind the scenes and yeah. I was sharing with you that my family sacrificed vacation for six years wow. because we wanted to keep those finances in the house so that I wouldn't have to go back to the corporate job so that yeah. I could continue at least pursuing this whole idea mm. of building a <laughs> successful and thriving business. And you know, in those early stages, you're a one woman show. Mm -hmm. you, a lot of times you're not <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> monetizing very well. Um, I had to work through my own fears and doubts mm. and self-limiting beliefs and mm -hmm. really learn how to value myself. So there was a lot of self-work I had to do mm before I ever got to the point where I was charging people <laughs> for the gift that I was bringing. And and everything, once I started charging, everything we brought in went right back into fueling the business. Mm -hmm. So there was not a lot of space for spending on luxury. Mm -hmm. um, so we kept things simple. Again, we, we abandoned the whole you know vacation for six years. We gave up a lot. So to finally have been a space where I sacrificed for this business, but now the business is able to give me the life that I wanted to create mm -hmm. for myself and my family, that trip to India was unbelievable yeah. and so amazing. And it was a reminder of what hard work will get you. Yes, absolutely. I really love that you shared about how you only share what you've gone through. Yeah. And I, I love the references back to um, even your hometown city and yes. where you grew up and what you saw in your current environment <laughs> while you're saying, I'm Cheryl Wood, international speaker. I really love that you shared of that because I think a lot of times we see someone like you, a Cheryl Wood, who seems to be doing it and yeah. you see her on social media and then you feel so small in comparison mm -hmm. sometimes to that picture. Mm -hmm. I love that you tell us I was you. Right. I was That's you. what we need to hear. Like, right. we need to be reminded that I didn't just wake up, as Beyonce said, <laughs> I didn't wake up like this now and, and just wake up to this reality. Yes. Like, I went through building this, building blocks in times where I didn't mm -hmm. feel like I measured up to the people who were already doing it. Yes. Even <laughs> now, I mean, as much as God has blessed the journey and I'm able to travel all across the country and, and the world doing this, there's still moments where I'm in a space with people who have been doing this for 20 yeah. years and I'm still the rookie in the room you know I'm six <laughs> years in speaking and I sometimes still have to remind myself you are enough to be here mm -hmm. you are worthy yes. so that self-talk doesn't stop just because you start getting a certain level of success absolutely because then there's the next rung on the ladder that you're climbing for and you have to consistently remind yourself that you are worthy of being in that in those spaces and that you have what it takes to deliver value yes. in every single space that you enter no matter who else is in the room I love that. And that's why days like today are so important because the whole purpose of the Success Women's Conference is to inspire, empower, connect, and recharge. And when you get to sit with like-minded women and hear these stories and share in those breakthrough moments, it does something in refueling and recharging you along that journey <laughs> where you're still at home doing these affirmations and not seeing it. But the, the theme for this um, conference is Women Standing Tall. And I would love, love, love to hear from you. What does that look like for you, women standing tall? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I, from my perspective, a woman standing tall is a woman, and I said this in my presentation, I think it's worth repeating, a woman who doesn't dim her 100 watts to 45 watts just because she feels she's not worthy or because other people make her feel like she's not worthy. Yeah. Um, it, it's a woman who stands fully in her gift her unique gift that nobody else can duplicate. Yeah. A woman who says, I'm here and the world is gonna know I'm here yeah. and the world's gonna hear my story, whether they want to or not. <laughs> <laughs> But but knowing that your story is meant for somebody. Mm. I tell my clients all the time, your story is about you, but it ain't for you. Mm. And that simply means all of us have been through things that we've had to overcome, challenges, or we've triumphed through things that we never thought we'd be able to make it through. And we have this ability to transform and impact other people's lives just by telling it. Yeah. But that requires a level of vulnerability. So I think a woman standing tall is not only strong, courageous, and bold, but she's vulnerable yeah. and she's authentic and she's mm. willing to just be who she is without trying to fit into anybody's definition of 
what success looks like. So I stand tall by being authentically Cheryl Wood from the hood. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for joining me. Be sure to look out for more interviews and connect further at successconference.info.